descent. Motherfucking descent. The legendary FPS that unfortunately isn't remembered by many. Okay, I wasn't going to do this video. I was always putting it away. But it got released on Steam yesterday, so fuck schedules! What is Descent? Well, if you haven't figured it out already, it's a 360 de degrees of freedom first person shooter. It means you are in a ship unaffected by gravity that can hover and slide and in any direction you can think of at any angle, while rolling. You don't get more movement freedom than that. What you are hearing, by the way, is the Red Book soundtrack's version of what you could call the main theme of Descent. It doesn't appear in the first game, the Red Book soundtrack, but screw that, it comes back later, and you can put that album inside the game using an in-game option. Hmm, I wonder why isn't anyone implementing this today? At the end of the video, after a look back at the game, a pseudo-review if you will, I will put information on mods worth having, how to make the game run on full HD resolution and modern systems, how to put music in, and generally useful stuff. There's a button on the screen you can press to skip to that section. I will switch to the actual game music now, but Redbook comes back later for the Descent 2. I will start off by saying that you should not buy the Steam release. Go to GOG.com and buy it there. There are three reasons. First, these are exactly the same releases, except one is DRM free and you won't be using the Steam library executable anyway. Because we will mod the game to run on the modern systems and with proper resolution. Second, there is some extra stuff given to you by GOG, soundtracks, artwork, etc. Third, it's cheaper because you also get Descent 2 which is an even better game. And I actually mean really fucking good, so go now and take it. Anyway, so I will just quickly mention the music and the graphics. The original game had your typical bleeps and blobs 8-bit or 16-bit soundtrack, however, that was later remastered and currently the soundtrack consists of some very entertaining chip tunes and very catchy ones as well. And the graphics? Well, it is a game from 1995 for God's sake. The graphics are as low as it gets and the native resolution is 640 by 400. But this is a game from a time when barely anyone had a graphics processing hardware. They had to use software rendering. However, it is worth mentioning that this is the first FPS to use true 3D models for enemies instead of sprites, and it used a technique later copied by the original Quake. Descent is a game from the times when having a joystick was mandatory, but it should work pretty well with any gamepad that has two sticks. I prefer to play using keyboard for ship movement and the joystick for weapon control and camera movement. If you have multiple controllers plugged in, you might face an issue I will address at the end of the video. Anyway, controls are fully customizable, even if you are using a 360 gamepad, and that includes uh, thumbsticks and axes. Anyway, gameplay, gameplay. Why am I skipping the plot? Because there isn't any! You are a mercenary, you get hired to clear some mines of infected robots, you go in, destroy the mine, get out and move on. In today's chase of making a grand video game with magnificent story, deep characters, Hollywood-like set pieces, many developers forgot what makes a game good. Fun! Descent is a beautifully simple game, it doesn't have any of that crap. It's you, your ship, your guns and a whole lot of angry robots that want to murder you while you listen to some heavy industrial metal, like the Red Book soundtrack. On each level, your objective is to destroy a reactor and then find an exit before it blows up. Speaking of levels, there are 30 of them, including 3 hidden levels, and they represent the age of best level design in history, right up there with the original Doom, Shadow Warrior and Quake. Those complex mazes combined with how the maps are designed and how this genre works will make you feel lost very quickly. It doesn't help that the levels are very claustrophobic. And by the way, as in every proud old school FPS, there are secrets. And some secrets have secrets. And there are three 
and there are three secret level exits leading to secret levels of course and check out this map i'm showing you right now yeah you get a map for each level but you have to uncover it by flying everywhere but anyway look how complex it is and it's not even one third into the game later on it gets much much better and shooting there's a whole lot of satisfying shooting you have five primary and five secondary weapons tertiary bombs that act like mines and plenty of enemies to fire them at primary weapons range from simple lasers to plasma assault guns missiles come in different shapes and sizes concussion homing and nukes and also we have flares to light your way useful stuff actually Shooting energy weapons and flares takes, of course, energy, of which you have a finite amount of 200 units. You can renew your supply by picking up energy items, redundant weapons, and you can fill up your reserves of up to 100 units in an energy center. Hey, by the way, you don't just shoot from one place on the screen like in every other FPS. You have wings. Your cannons and rockets are mounted on your wings or under the hole. You have to watch your crosshair to know from where you will fire and because you are a 3D model and not a floating gun you can do some cute maneuvers like shooting from behind the corner. Descent requires skill. It's a hard and unforgiving game. Keep that in mind. For new players I recommend the rookie or hotshot difficulty levels. You have to be able to dodge, take cover, run and move around Otherwise, you will die! There is no regenerating health for you. The only way to replenish health is by picking up shield orbs. And once you go below zero, you explode. More than a dozen kinds of enemies will make sure to try and blow you up. When you die, you lose a life. Yeah, you have a finite amount of lives. And all your stuff. But of course you can all retrieve it all. You start with two lives. And each 50,000 points you get another. You can also find them floating around as items. And you get points for killing robots, obviously. And for uh, end level bonuses, like how much damage you have taken, how much shields you have left, how much energy, and did you find all the hostages, that kind of stuff. Hidden power-ups like invulnerability and cloak will help you beat the game, but they only last a short while. If you fail to find an exit before reactor blows up, you start the new level with nothing. However, the game is never unfair. It is balls hard, but you can get out of every sticky situation with skill, and even when the game fucks you over on purpose, it still will give you a hidden invulnerability power-up or something else to help you out. The AI is solid. It's better than most games today, actually. Different robots have different behavior, some are dead stupid, but some will try to dodge your shots and ambush you, some will chase you, some will rush you, etc, etc. Some will, some will even take advantage of their strength and keep their position while throwing rockets at you. For example, the uh, Heavy Hulk. You can't rush him, he will die, and he knows it and he will take advantage of that. And even if you are invisible, when you start shooting, they will trace the bullets back to you and fire in your general direction, so be careful! Some enemies the game will throw at you in increasingly difficult to deal with numbers and places can be really tough. You will learn to fear the deceptive shrieks of cloud lifters, the grunts of heavy hulks, and you will most definitely have nightmares about the squeals of thrillers. Meanwhile, Descent 2 takes the previous game's formula and but improves it and adds a lot of new content for more advanced players. It adds a whole lot of new, more difficult enemies, doubles the amount of weapons you had with some powerful stuff like mass drivers and earthquake missiles. It's split into six segments, four levels each, with each segment containing a teleport to a secret level and a fourth level ending with a boss fight, which gives us, again, 30 missions total and 4 more bosses than the last game. Descent 2 is more action-packed, it's more dynamic, 
The level design and complexity is on an even higher level through adding timed unlockable walls, buttons, destructible panels, etc. etc. And it's arguably the best game in the series, and because of that it's the best game of this kind. And it will also throw at you some new mechanics like item stealing robot, uh, buttons that unlock doors, walls and areas, usable items like headlight and afterburner, and a friendly but annoying as flying fuck guide bot you can acquire at the beginning of each mission. Little bugger will help you in many ways, except when it gets horribly stuck or confused. Descent 2 also updates the graphics a bit and just works and controls a bit smoother. Well, much smoother. This is the main reason why I recommend getting the GOG release, because you also get Descent 2. Those two, alongside with Descent 3 and its expansion pack Mercenary, are the best 6-axis shooters out there. And frankly, I have no idea why these kind of games never got popular. The only other games I can name are Forsaken, which I've never played and, to be honest, heard of until yesterday, and a rather recently released Retrovirus, which was good in its own right, but it's no the same. So give this a try. I mean, honestly, it's worth it. The first two games are only 10 bucks and it will be one of the best 10 bucks you will have ever spent, believe me. Alright, about getting the game to work properly on modern systems and with proper resolution. There is this mod called DXX Reaper. It adapts the game to modern operating systems, it gives you a wide range of resolutions, it fixes some issues, adds anti-aliasing, desync and some useful game options. You can find the link in the description of this video. Alrighty, go to the website and locate the download section. Pick the archive you need, depending on your operating system, in my case it's Windows 7, and download both archives. Alright. They are very, very small, so they download really quickly. Extract them just about anywhere. And okay, open. The first one is D1X. It's the first descent, and the other one is D2X, it's descent 2. Okay, this is the first one. You have to locate your game's installation folder. You will need the root folder. And locate descent.hog and descent.pig. Copy those two files and paste. Now you can run the game on any system. Now we can run the game on a modern system by running this file. Okay, that's done. Now go to the Descent 2 folder. And okay, you need those files. Alien 1, Alien 2, Descent.hug, ham, Descent.hog, Descent S1, Descent S S2, Grupa, Fire, Water, Robots, both robots, Other, Intro, and Ice. And I believe that's all of them. Yeah, it should be. I am going to put a full list in the description and just paste them into the folder you have extracted. And just with, like with the sent one, you can just ex uh, you can you can just run D2X Rebirth X. And that's it. I've mentioned that you can put custom music into the game. It's in the options. Go to the options, pick sound effects and music and scroll a bit down. You will see music type. Choose jukebox and scroll further. And now you can pick a path for the level music. You will have to pick an entire folder. Just choose browse, control D to change the drive and find the folder with your music. In my case, I'm going to choose the Redbook soundtrack. Okay, and now you can pick if the music plays like in any other album or if it loops one track per level or, or if it just scrambles everything. Then you have to go lower and choose non-level music. The main menu, briefing, credits and all that kind of stuff. And that's it. Unfortunately, the game doesn't remember from where you pick your uh, files. You have to browse for every single one. 
about controls and controllers. First things first, go to options and disable auto leveling. This will prevent the ship from automatically leveling to horizontal position and will make your flying much easier and much more enjoyable. If you have multiple controllers plugged in, unfortunately the easiest way to make everything work properly is to unplug everything other than your joystick. You could make it a priority controller on your, uh, in your operating system settings, but that would fuck up other games like, for example, Darksiders and pretty much everything that wants to use an uh, Xbox 360 pad. But let's end this video already. Okay, quick, quick summary. Descent is a great FPS, great level design, great shooting, great enemy variety, and even if it doesn't get more complex down the line, besides tactics and strategies you can use, it's still one of the best FPS games I have ever played. To younger audience used to stuff like Call of Duty this game might seem simple, or even primitive. It is, they, they are right, it is simple. But that's the beauty of it. You are not bothered by any kind of stupid moral crap or a half-assed story most games have today. You just go in and have some fun shooting. It's a shame they don't make games like that anymore. It's a real shame.